Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Minister Paula Watchman on the wall in Northern California. 9-9-2020 with my beautiful wife, Carol Maxson. Yes, good evening, everybody. So, uh, so first of all, before I explain this article, uh, I wanted to let you know that I actually went into surgery at 6.45 this morning, so almost 12 hours ago. Surgery went very smooth. There was a recovery period, and I got the bandage off my eye, and uh, I'm just waiting for it to clear up now. It looks like I'm going to have a very, very good vision. I mean, I, I'm, I'm just kind of learning my eye. It's hard to explain, like adjusting to it and stuff. But I'll let you know tomorrow uh, how the vision is. I can tell right now I can read really small print with no glasses at all. It's amazing. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. See that? I can see that line right there. I can read that now. Wow. Does it look small? Yeah. See, stuff looks bigger. So let me, so that's, uh, thank you all very much for the prayers. I want to talk about this AI Jesus. AI stands for artificial intelligence. So it says new artificial intelligence Jesus or AI Jesus can deliver a sermon but will under uh, will you understand it? And it has a quote. It says, "Thou shalt be called the people," unquote, which isn't in the Bible. Let me explain this to you. It says the AI recently tweeted. So, so what 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 uh, what scientists did? This article is coming from Live Live Science. I'll put a link. What scientists did was they took all the, the King James Version specifically, the King James Version of the Bible, and they took all of the books of the New Testament and they loaded it onto this computer and they made it artificial intelligence and all this stuff and began to ask it questions. And uh, it its only response that it can pull from the only dad, the only words it knows, this is crazy, is is King James New Testament. That's it. So if it's going to respond to them with any answer, it has to be the words in the Bible. But it's backfiring on them because now it's twisting the words up and it's mixing the words and they're out of order. And the 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 Holy Spirit is missing from this piece of equipment. I, I, I got to show you because this this thing, this demonic AI Jesus, is now putting forth future prophecies based on the King James Bible, but it's twisted and perverted. Do you understand the danger of this? And this thing will be out preaching it in the tribulation. If you go down here, I saw this one thing. Uh, it says right here, it says, AI Jesus brain is made up of units that process data sequence, such as strings of test, text, as neurons do. Working together, units in the network help to the AI learn the language of the King James Bible, enabling AI Jesus to generate original phrases that mimic the style of the biblical text. But it can't, here's the thing, is it can't do that. They're all saying it's missing something, you know. It it doesn't have that poetic flow and all these comments are saying, no, it doesn't have the Holy Spirit. Do, do you know, I don't know how woke most of the people are that are watch this video, but do you know there's demonic spirits in electronics? I am not kidding you. I mean, these these principalities have names, and they work through electronics, and they can harass people and all kinds of stuff. So this thing has an antichrist spirit in it, using the mixed up word of God, and science thinks this is a good thing. Right here it says, but thus far AI Jesus oratory 
prowess doesn't quite live up to that of its namesake. In the King James Bible, Jesus inspired his followers with uh, profundities such as, Blessed are the peacemakers, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Okay, from Matthew chapter 5. So these are real quotes. And your spirit will recognize the word of God. It, it's amazing. But uh, it says, uh, AI Jesus delivered its debut sermon for a more modern platform, Twitter. It gave a sermon on Twitter. So here it has its own Twitter account, and it's just putting out its own tweets. And it's using the King James. Uh, here's its first tweet right here. August 29, 2020. What are your thoughts on this? What are your comments on this? And I uh, like and share the video. Thank you very much. I'll probably be back tomorrow with more updates. Shalom.